Hello everyone, this is Mr. Viz. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So this is a, this will be a small series where I show how to add a flashlight. Uh, so I have picked up the uh, UE5 default uh, third person project instead of my ALS project because the logic is almost the same. So uh, I'll, I'll try to do it in uh, in, a, in a fresh. Uh, uh, third person template so if you want to follow this on the ALS v4 uh, project which you have already working on you should be good to do that also uh, if you are facing any issues let me know I'll try to help there um, so let's start so I've already imported the uh, model from sketchfab so this is how it looks so what we do is create a blueprint class actor and uh, name it p underscore flash light so here add a static mesh name it flash light then add a Spotlight. Okay, on this static mesh, assign the flashlight. The yeah. flashlight here, and uh, position your uh, spotlight on the the right place. So this looks fine and uh, uh, intensity is set to 15,000 that that works better for me and uh, change the light color according to your uh, style disable cache sh shadows this is to avoid if you're having weapon in hand and you know uh, you, you don't want to uh, want to cast shadows of, of the weapon that you have so just to avoid that okay so now we will add this to the third person character so open your mesh go to skeleton and can put it Add a socket. Right. And add a preview mesh. Okay. And position it accordingly. Okay, I'm keeping it here. So if you're having a backpack or something like on the character, I push it accordingly. So for me, this looks okay. Now go to your uh, uh, pp underscore flashlight and uh, create few variables. So, so the first thing is uh, the battery. Uh, 
takes it to the float then switched on set this to boolean and on your begin play cast third person character and promote this to a variable Now we have our basic setup. Now here create a custom event. Toggle light and add an input. And let it be boolean. So add a branch here. So we will be calling this uh, event when we press the flashlight button on the character. And set your battery default to 100 so that it has 100 percent battery capacity. Add a branch here, and if battery is more than zero, more than zero, then we will uh, set the visibility of this uh, spotlight. So by default, uh, hide this. Okay, set the visibility here and set switch on to true. And similarly, uh, when we switch it, uh, when we want to switch off, we have to set these back. So visibility is false and switch on is false. So this is okay for now. We will be improving it in the in the next video. So. Uh, now come back to your uh, third person character and uh, before before adding uh, come to your project settings and the input okay open your enhanced input so go to content third person input the IMC uh, add a new input but before that I think we have to add it. actions go to input and the input action a flash light so uh, if you are using the ALS v4 project it will be uh, an easier add for you uh, go to project settings and uh, add an uh, action mapping here so that should work fine for you Okay, here select IA flashlight then here I'm using F key okay that should be good now come to your uh, third person character okay now call this And uh, before that, we have to add our uh, flashlight to the character. So to attach that, I'll create a custom, we'll create a function for that. Create a function here. Let's 
on active from class and uh, you can directly add uh, the flashlight here itself but you know uh, if you want to uh, uh, make it something like you know pick up uh, pick up flashlight after that equip this function will help you so this might seem a long way around but uh, it will be useful this name okay touch actor to component so the certain value will be connected here and take the machine connected to parent socket name flashlight and select snap to target then promote this to a variable Now on the flashlight we have uh, the player refs. Uh, either you can cast it and uh, you know as it's shown here, or if you want to avoid casting, you can disable this and uh, uh, we will set the player ref from here. So if this this can be done if you want to avoid the casting. So the reason I'm putting this to a function is uh, if you want multiple flashlights and if you want to you know switch between them, uh, each will have its own properties. So for those, uh, you can use this uh, spawn flashlight flashlight function. So uh, I'll I'll stop here. Uh, I think this has already taken more than 10 minutes now. So I'll stop here. Uh, we'll continue further in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.